Okay, massive update that kind of makes this video a little bit redundant, but I think some of the points in it are still relevant because it's still why people are questioning Mysterious and her motives behind the video. So Mysterious is actually back and I haven't seen anyone else reporting on this because it must have just happened in the past couple of minutes, hours, I'm not sure. But either way, I'm going to be talking about why people were criticising Mysterious for leaving and the criticism they have of her Trisha Paytas series in general. So let's get into the video! Hey guys and welcome back to another video and yeah you guessed it, it's another one on Trisha Paytas. But this time the drama isn't actually surrounding her. Well it kind of is, it's more so in relation to her I suppose. But anyway, today the video is actually going to be about how Mysterious, formerly known as Mysterious T, has gone dark. She's privated all her old videos, leaving just a few posts on her community tab to explain why, and she's completely gone off Twitter. Now, the main reason for this is most likely due to the immense amount of hate and backlash that she was getting from Trisha Stans. Because a lot of people weren't happy with how Mysterious was questioning the stories that Trisha had put forward regarding her essay. And people were mistakenly taking this for Mysterious questioning Trisha's as a whole essay. But that's not true at all because in Mysterious's last video that she posted in her what would have been a series on Trisha. She clearly said that Trisha clearly had some type of trauma and she believed it was with her stepfather, I think it was. And she showed a video of Trisha talking about this and showed how Trisha was really choked up and just couldn't go into detail about it. And Mysterious was acknowledging that there was some clear, clear emotional trauma that Trisha had gone through. And I think Trisha was carrying this through up until present day. And there's a lot of people saying that Mysterious was actually being emotionally insensitive to essay survivors and I can sympathise with that to some extent because a lot of people don't remember what happened to them. The, the trauma caused such an emotional dissonance between themselves and their memory that they block it out. That's the only way the brain can move forward and cope and manage daily activities without ever having to acknowledge that that part of the history existed and so the brain blocks it out and as a result essay survivors can't remember exactly what happened and that's true so lots of scientific research and evidence backs up that essay survivors and victims of trauma in a, as a whole just have a lot of gaps in their memory when it comes to specific trauma and it can block out specific parts leading up to the event specific parts during the event or the event in its entirety However, this doesn't seem to be the case with Trisha because not only was she talking about her essay, there was just different versions of it. It wasn't as if there was gaps in the story or memory lapses in where things happened and when things happened. It was a complete change of narrative and I think that's why people have started to question Trisha's story. In no sense of, well, at least for the majority of people who have a heart, I don't think are questioning that Trisha has gone through some sort of essay or trauma. Most people are just questioning how she was irresponsible in claiming that her former teacher had done CP without properly doing the research. And I understand that lots of people do a quick Google search, see the headline, see the name, put two and two together, especially since Trisha said someone told her that that's what happened. Okay, we all get that. I think the issue is that as a public figure, she has more of a responsibility than most of us. And she didn't do her due diligence of looking into it more before making such serious allegations on the Frenemies podcast going out to millions of viewers. I mean, Trisha has said that she's a pathological liar and I think the problem was that she she did it too, once too many and unfortunately this made people question when she was telling the truth. And not only has this damaged her credibility but it's damaged victims' credibilities too because it's now given those people who always question, always doubt and don't believe victims even more credibility to their statements because they can now point to this saying look she lied she manipulated everyone believed her at first but it was actually a lie people who are actual victims now are going to lose their voice lose their confidence in coming forward because they believe that they're going to be questioned and bullied down just like trisha has albeit for the discrepancies in her story rather than not being a victim herself and i've seen other people go up mysterious for just pointing out that she was a Shane stan before everything came out and even after everything came out I had actually watched her two videos on Shane showing how she felt all of his actions were justified in the sense that because he was playing a character the times were different and all of that 
that she believed that that wasn't the true Shane, so she wanted to point out all of the nice things Shane had done for other people throughout his time of being a YouTuber. And to be honest, I don't really agree with a lot of what she was saying about Shane being just a character. Whilst I do agree that the times were different, and he was just, a, for the majority of it, playing something up for YouTube. I even at 12 which would have been 10 years ago for me i don't think i would ever have done blackface as a character and thought that it was right and i'm really not sure where i stand on that part of shane's history because it's not my apology to accept but it still upset a lot of people that i really deeply care about but i do appreciate mysterious's ability to question cancel culture as a whole and put forward the idea why can't we allow people to change for the better and I do agree with that. I think if people have shown reform and a change in the way that they act, not only in what they say, then we should give them another chance. But there was still stuff with Shane going on behind the scenes with how he apparently told Gabby Hanna that Jeffree Star was trying to encourage him to use racial slurs. So I don't know. I'm not sure how much evidence I've seen of whether Shane has changed or not. But then again, I've, I've not actually seen him do anything to that extent in public since doing all those videos and his quote-unquote apology video so who am I to say that he shouldn't come back and that he isn't changed I mean I don't know him do I and whether she was a Shane Stan or not I'm not sure how relevant this was to how she was just simply pointing out the inconsistencies of quite serious claims that Trisha had put forward against this teacher and I've seen some people say that well she's only got this massive hate boner for Trisha because Trisha no longer supported Shane. And that was the reason that she's gone after Trisha, because she, see, well, not so secretly, is a massive Shane standstill. And whilst I can definitely see there's some weight to that theory in terms of how she probably wasn't as much of a fan of Trisha and had some bias against her since she was so supportive of Shane, all of that is just kind of irrelevant because the facts and the evidence the Mysterious put forward in her videos showed the inconsistencies in such serious claims that Trisha made of her essay. I've also seen people say, well, she didn't have to go that low. She didn't have to go for her essay or her mental health. And she didn't have to, you know, do punches below the belt. She could have gone for all of the other stuff that Trisha has done in terms of like appropriation of black culture, whether she was using racial slurs, blackface, all these other things that she's done with like the DID, dissociation like pretending she was dissociating on these videos and things like that but that's not the point of the video the point isn't to try and cancel trisha that wasn't the, the like the video's objective the objective of the video was to show the discrepancies in such serious claims of sa and i've also seen people saying on oh, mysterious ones accountability from trisha but can't even take accountability of how she put forward all of these serious claims and won't take the hate I don't think that's credible at all. She, Mysterious doesn't have to take accountability for anything. She's not the one that's done anything wrong. And if it was maybe Trisha Stan saying that, oh, she can't take the tr criticism, but she's going after Trisha. And I've seen people say that she should have been able to handle the criticism, but I don't, you know, who am I to say that she should have been more mentally and morally stronger against all of the probably really riled up and quite vicious Trisha Stans at this point. In one of Mysterious's lives, she, well, in it, couple of videos I actually um, she cried and she said that she was just incredibly sensitive person so I don't I don't see any like reason as to why this wouldn't have weighed down really hard on her and she probably just needs to take a break and take some time for herself and she said multiple times that she was doing it with what she believed was morally right reasons she had a platform that she felt she needed to speak up on some discrepancies in a story and she was really really like taking on this huge like argument of going against the grain of everyone like at the time supporting victims supporting Trisha other people are being like oh well, you support Kim and he's an R apologist and she was saying on one of her last lives that I caught that she doesn't support Kim. she may have agreed with one of his past tweets or maybe a couple of his past tweets or maybe a couple of his past takes about certain things but she doesn't like Kim or she didn't agree with Kim as a whole People who still want to support Trisha and believe Trisha and not question anything are looking for holes to poke in Mysterious' story and looking for ways to bring her down. Which is terrible because whilst Trisha was believe all victims, she herself made this man who was wrongly accused of CP a victim of her. And she is seemingly not acknowledging that, not taking like 
proper accountability for it. She said that she got the story wrong, which, okay, fine. But she didn't... What she should have done is really just apologise for how she was platforming such serious claims without doing her due diligence of research. I think Mysteria should come back, take some time for herself in the meantime, let things die down whilst it's all pretty intense, and come back with maybe what she wanted to say before, or just completely move on. I've also seen some people say that maybe she should have done the series in its entirety before actually posting the first episode, and that way she could have kept the momentum going and maybe try to disregard all of the criticism and claims of like all this other bs that she was getting because then she could have like i say kept the momentum going and kept things moving forward instead of having these massive gaps in between each episode which i think is probably a good idea of what she should have done because at that point she could have completely switched off to all the negative hate knew exactly in her morals and in her mind that she'd done exactly what she wanted to do done the right thing in her mind about how everything that she'd gathered and just you know completely switched off and let everyone else see the evidence speak for itself i don't know what do you think do you think mysterious should come back do you think she should stay away forever or you know just she maybe she wasn't strong enough to handle it or anything like that or do you think that some of these trisha stands have just gone too far and just bullied her off the internet let me know down in the comments below and i'll see you next time thank you for all the follows i can't believe i've hit 1k already i don't know whether i could hit maybe 2k by the end of the year i'm not sure I keep that as a, a little goal in my mind anyway thank you so much for watching to the end see you next time bye oh and please drop a like and sub if you enjoyed the video thank you bye say what you want to say to